Hey YouTube, it's me again, back with another video. A while back, a few years ago, I did a video on my collection of handheld Nintendo games from Game Boy Original, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, Nintendo DS, and Nintendo 3DS. I've decided, today I've decided to do a little update on my collection, show you some new games I got. A couple of them are were given to me and my dad from one of my dad's co-workers but anyway i just want to do an update video of my collection and show you what kind of games i have anyway without further ado let's get started all right so we're going to start off with the of course the original itself game boy original all right we have tetris we have tetris 2 we got Final Fantasy. We have Final Fantasy 2. We have the Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. As you can see, I, this is my the original copy I had, and this was given to me and my dad from my dad's co-worker. And the best thing about these uh, cartridges, when they're black, you can actually play these. They're compatible with Game Boy Color. So, pretty cool there. We have uh, Donkey Kong. Now, interesting fact, I this was actually the very first game, video game I actually bought. I bought this at like a Funko, I think. It was a long, very long time ago, back in the 90s. But my old copy of Donkey Kong like was just ended up bro was like broken. So, this is the ver copy that was given to me and my dad from his coworker. We have Metroid 2 Return of Samus. We have Pac Man. We have Star Wars Episode 4. This is my version. This is the copy that was given to me and my dad from his co worker. We have Empire Strikes Back, also given to me and my dad from his co worker. We have Super Return of the Jedi. We have Yoda Stories. This was also compatible. You could play this on Game Boy Color. We have Galaka slash Galaxian. It's a double arcade game for this game. For the Game Boy. Also given to us by me and my dad from his friend. We have Top Gun Guts and Glory. We have Pokemon Yellow. This is the special Pikachu. Pikachu edition, where you can actually play as Pikachu. As you can see, there's red lettering on this cartridge. This was this was my dad's copy. We have Pokemon Blue. We have Men in Black the series. I got some more Men in Black games in this video, so stay tuned. We have Toy Story 2, also compatible with game. Boy, color. All right, next we have Roger Clemens MVP Baseball. You know, when I pop this game into the game, my uh, when I put turn this game on, it doesn't have any of the major league baseball teams like the Cubs, the Cardinals, the Sox, the Yankees, the Red Sox. They just have different city. They have cities with different team names and stuff. So yeah. We have WWE Superstars 2, or WWF Superstars 2. As you, of course, you can see right here, we got Hulk Hogan, Macho Man Randy Savage, and right there, The Undertaker. This is right there. Features Steel Cage and Tag Team Action. Pretty retro game right here, guys. We have WWE Warzone, or WWF Warzone. As you see right there, we got Stone Cold Steve Austin. We got WrestleMania 2000. This was, the, of course, the first WWE video game under the THQ era. And of course, it's pretty cool. We have Madden NFL 97. Featuring the late, see right there, we've got the late, great John Madden himself. Alright, you guys can't, 
the cover for this ripped off a very long time ago, but this is a hockey game right here. This I believe this is NHL Hockey Club 95, I'm assuming. Yeah, yeah, I think that's what it's called. You guys can't tell from right there, but that that the picture should, should be Madison Square Garden. I think that's the Canucks, and I believe that there is the New York Rangers in that picture from the 94 Stanley Cup Final. We have Sports Illustrated Championship Football and Baseball. We got NFL Blitz. Let me just say, NFL Blitz on play on Nintendo 64, freaking awesome. That's all I'm going to say. And the last uh, ge original Game Boy game I have, which was also given to me and my dad from his co-worker, F1 Race, Formula One Racing. So, yep. All right, moving on to the Game Boy Color games. All right. Yep, first off, we have Metal Gear Solid. And I know what you're thinking. Metal Gear Solid was on Game Boy? Well, you are correct. But this wasn't a part of the original Metal Gear franchise from the PlayStation. This was its own version. and had a little bit of connections to the Metal Gear games from like the late 80s, early 90s, I think. But I had a hard time playing this game. But a buddy of mine from school, he, back in the day, he taught me some cheat codes on how to like play the game. Actually, it worked out pretty well. So, yeah. Now, we do have two Zelda games, but they're two different versions. So, this one was is Legend of Zelda Oracle of Seasons, and this is Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages. These were two separate video games at the at the time. And like, something... I don't know the whole story, but Link finds something and transports him to two different timelines. This timeline and this timeline. So, there is a cheat book for this I do have. It's somewhere buried within my house, but... Yeah. But I had, I actually got this one for Christmas a long a long time ago, and this one right here was once again given to my me and my dad from his coworker. So yeah. All right. Next up, we have Godzilla the series Monster Wars. This was of course based off the 1998 Godzilla movie starring Matthew Broderick, which also turned into a TV show by Fox kids i actually watched the show on dvd pretty pretty good show too bad it got taken too bad the war between digimon and pokemon got it canceled we got men in black 2 the series which is also based off the show men in black but it's also the game boy color version of the game same game though all right, next up we have Pokemon Crystal version. As you can see right there, this cartridge is all like light blue and uh, it's got a little bit of glitter here and there. I I never really watched most of the Pokemon, the new Pokemon back in the day, but I was more focused into the Digimon stuff, but yeah. This was also given to me and my dad from his coworker. All right, next up we have 007 The World Is Not Enough, which was based off the 007 movie of the same name. As you can see right there, it's made by EA Games. We got Harry Potter, also by EA Games. We have Lego Alpha Team. I got this one for Christmas a very long time ago as well. This one I got my... Uh, Game Boy Color at the time, so it's a it's a puzzle game, but eh, it's pretty it's pretty all right. All right, you guys can't tell the the sticker for this is ripped off, but this is actually X Men Mutant Wars. This was another video game Game Boy game color game that I got on Christmas a long time ago, and basically the objective is you gotta fight off all the bad guys in this game in order to you like fight like apocalypse or i think it was doom 
Apocalypse or Mr. Sinister, I'm assuming, but this was actually like based off the 90s X-Men cartoon from Fox back in the day. And just to give you a heads up, they were actually bringing that show back on Disney+. Plus. But I've actually beat this. I had a hard time playing this game a long time ago, but then a few years later, I actually played it again and actually beat the whole game. So, yeah. All right, next up we have The Mummy Returns. You see right there, we got Brendan Fraser, and we got The Rock right there. And we got the bad guy from the first Mummy movie. All right, next we have a game called Crystalis. It's like a future med medieval ages type of game. It's pretty, it's pretty good. I recommend it. All right, next we have a game called Alone in the Dark, The New Nightmare. It's kind of like a spooky shoot 'em up game. We got you're in a house, a haunted house, and you're you're like shooting up some monsters and all that stuff. It's pretty spooky. All right, next we have NBA Showtime, NBA on NBC. This is an actually a pretty fun game. I actually enjoyed it. it of course, this is uh, of course this is the same company that did the uh, NFL Blitz game, but unfortunately, instead of like a five on five traditional basketball game it's just two on two because you know it was a different time it was a different time back in the day but instead of a usual like 15 12 minute uh basketball game you can like make it up to like a minute or five minute basketball game i recommend you play a five minute basketball game and you actually can have some fun with it i've actually won a couple games there it's pretty cool all right, next we have Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, second edition. There's right there the late, great Regis Philbin. We also have Mario Gov. We got All-Star Baseball 2000. We got Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 for Game Boy Color. There's the other one in this video, so, yep. And the last Game Boy Color game is just a casino game. And there are different types of casino games in this game. Poker, Blackjack, Slots, Roulette, Craps, Video Poker, all that kind of stuff, you know? So, yeah. Alright, next up we got the Game Boy Advance games. I got a couple good ones right here guys all right first up we have simpsons road rage this was a game i got on christmas a long time ago now if you want to unlock there are some cheat codes to unlock all the vehicles so if you don't want to get play through the whole campaign to unlock all the characters and places to drive in i recommend you go on online and look up the cheat codes to unlock all the characters for the Game Boy Advance version. So, yeah. Oops. Alright, next up we have a game called Godzilla Dominion. It's a pretty fun game. Now, these next two games, I'm going to put these two as as one because they are, they're actually, a, these were actually a Nintendo franchise. We have Golden Sun and Golden Sun 2. These are pretty fun games right here. You Basically, you're a group of people, and you get these little myth, mystical creatures called Dindrin or something. I forgot. It's hard to pronounce their name, but basically, you're running around. You're fighting off monsters, bad guys, and all that stuff. So, pretty fun game. So, yeah. All right. Next up, we have Metroid Zero Mission. Pretty fun game here. All right, next up we have the Game Boy Advance version of A Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past. And as you can see right here, there's a, another game called Four Swords, but you would have to have that game. You need to require four players to play the whole game because Four Swords involves four different links. I'm not joking, so... Uh, I would recommend just playing A Link to the Past, so, yeah. All right, next up we have Castlevania Circle of the Moon. This was another game that I played, which is pretty fun. It's a little spooky at sometimes, but 
A buddy of mine taught me a little cheat code on this game, so yeah. All right, next up we have another video game franchise called Advanced Wars. Basically, it's a strategy war game. All right, next up we have Lord of the Rings, Fellowship of the Ring, and Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers. As you can see right here, Lord of the, the Lord of the Rings, Fellowship of the Ring. It was created by Black Label Games. And the Two Towers game was created by, of course, EA Games. All right, now we're against to the Star Wars ones, ladies and gentlemen. All right, first up, we have Star Wars Trilogy, A Princess of the Force. Basically, you're Luke Skywalker, and you're playing through episodes 4, 5, and 6 as Luke. All right, we have the game adaptation of Star Wars Episode 2, Attack of the Clones. See right there, we got Anakin, Dooku, Jango Fett. All right, next up, we have Star Wars Flight of the Falcon. Basically, you're you're in any vehicle from the original trilogy doing, like, dog fights and all that stuff. So, yeah. We got Lego Star Wars the Video Game, which basically involves the first three Star Wars movies, episodes 1, 2, and 3. All right, next up we have Bionicle, which is a Lego game. One of uh, Lego's coolest products at the time. All right, next up we have a game called Galador, Defenders of the Outer Dimensions. Now, this was actually a TV show at the time. It was on Fox from, like, I think late to the early, f the fall of 2001 into 2002. Um, I actually watched this show here and there. It was actually a pretty fun show. Um, Lego actually did some Galador Lego sets at the time. It was kind of like Bionicle as well. But, yeah. Unfortunately, the show never ended... The show was eventually kicked off Fox by the fall of 2002 when Fox Kids became the Fox Box. But, that, but that's a whole other story for another time. But yeah, this is actually a pretty cool game. This is actually a pretty neat game. Alright, we have Pirates of the Caribbean, Curse of the Black Pearl. Next year will mark 20 years since the fran this franchise started. Alright, we have Shrek 2. All right, we have a game called Basilisk X vs. Sever. This was a movie, but if anyone's seen the move, this movie, and what are your, let me know in the comment section, and what are your thoughts on it? So, um, yeah, we have uh, Top Gun Firestorm Advance. I'm assuming that's what it's called. All right, we have Alex Ryder Stormbreaker, pretty good book franchise. Movie, also good. Too bad they didn't make any more movies. We have a game called Tactics Ogre, The Knights of Lotus. We have Digimon, Battle Spirit. We have Masters of the Universe, He-Man, Power of Grayskull. We have Nicktoons Unite. We have... Aragon, also another book franchise, pretty good movie, also good. Didn't make it; they didn't make a sequel, unfortunately. And this is the Game Boy Advance version of Men in Black: The Series. All I'm going to say is the Men in Black movies are awesome. We have BattleBots: Design and Destroy. We have the Scorpion King: Sword of Oiris. I, I, it's hard to pronounce that word, so yeah. We have Grand Theft Auto. We have Backyard Football 2006. We have The Sum of All Fears. That's a this is a based off a of Tom Clancy book. No, I think they also did a movie of it. Hot Wheels Stunt Track Challenge. I actually got this on Easter a long time ago. Quad Desert Fury. We have Dexter's Laboratory Chess Challenge. Kelly Slater's Pro Surfer. I got this for my birthday a long time ago. Need for Speed uh, Porsche Unleashed. T 
Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2. Interesting thing about this is you can actually unlock Spider-Man in this game. Not joking. The Sims 2. We have an arcade, classic arcade game. Actually, we got two of them. This one is for Warlords Breakout Centipede. The other one is Lunar Lander Super Breakout and Millipede. So pretty cool retro games there. We got Rock and Sockam Robots. And the next one is actually Shrek 2, the movie itself, which came out in 2004. Now, they actually did these cartridges where you can actually watch, like, a movie or a TV show. These were okay. All right. Last but not, but not least, Nintendo DS and Nintendo 3DS. So, let's get started. All right. We got Assassin's Creed 2 Discovery. We got Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 Defiance. We got Metroid Prime Hunters. We got the third Golden Sun game, Golden Sun Dark Dawn. We got The Legend of Zelda Spirit Tracks. It's basically Zelda on a train. We got Advanced Wars 2 Days of Ruined. We got The Simpsons game, pretty good game. We got Digimon World Dusk. We got Tom Clancy's End War. We got Lord of the Rings, Aragon's Quest. Basically involves Air, all the Lord of the Rings movies from Aragon's point of view. We got Star Wars The Force Unleashed. Star Wars Lethal Alliance. Star Wars Elite Squadron. If you want to learn more about Elite Squadron, just look up Star Wars Battlefront 3 Cancelled 2008. There's videos on that on YouTube. We got Star Wars The Clone Wars. We got Lego Star Wars The Complete Saga, Episodes 1 through 6. WWE Raw vs. SmackDown 2010, featuring ECW. Major League Baseball 2K11. Ultimate Game Room. Ridge Racer. Alright, now for the 3DS games. Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater. This is actually the same game for PlayStation 2, but only the 3DS version. Alright, Metroid Samus Returns. The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D. The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Both these two based off the Nintendo 64 games. Pokemon Sun, Dead or Alive Dimensions, Super Mario Bros, The Legend of Korra, A New Era Begins. This was based off the Avatar The Last Airbender show, I'm assuming, but I never watched The Legend of Korra, but I've seen Avatar The Last Airbender, so if any of you have seen this show, let me know in the comments down below. Wipeout 3. Lego Chima Laval's Journey. Lego Lord of the Rings. Ultimate Nintendo Entertainment System Remix. Angry Birds Star Wars. And last but certainly not least, Mario Kart 7. Alright guys, that is the updated version of my Nintendo handheld games. If you have a favorite Nintendo Handheld game from Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy Advance, Nintendo DS, Nintendo 3DS. Let me know in the comments section down below. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it, and may the Force be with you, always.